Hello everyone and welcome to the second part of the Better Than Wolves Wednesday. Uh, this is next Wednesday, uh, last Wednesday we got started. I'm here with Joe again. Hello guys. Uh, last Wednesday we got up to, uh, we did loads of mining, we got 16 gold. Yeah. We uh, made a millstone obviously and so let's just carry on the good stuff. So yeah, millstone hand crank. I'm going to mill some hemp now actually, why not? And as you can see over here, if you just want to turn around, Tommy, we just got started on a hemp farm. Yeah. We just thought, you don't really want to see that boring bit of us making the farm. So here it is, and we've already got one row finished off. So uh, let's fill these up and get as much hemp as possible to mill and turn to hemp fibres and turn that into, like, fabric and stuff or whatever. Yes, yeah, so we also made a bucket using some of the iron we had. Yeah, and that can go... To the cauldron, can't it? Mm. it could... We probably want to keep a bucket, so we might just make another bucket. Well, you want to keep the bucket, put it in the chest, and we can use it for the cold. Yeah, but I'm saying we're going to need a bucket anyway, so we might as well okay, just make another one. Make another one when we're done with it. More hemp fibres. Okay. Um, you want to make some fabric, or should we just keep it for now? Uh, let's keep it for now. Let's just keep the, the stuff like that. Because we kind of want to get on to uh, the main, kind of the main feature of Best in the Wolves, which is the windmill. The windmill, which you make out of sails, which is made out of wood and fabric, which is made out of the fabric's made out of um, hemp fibers. So that's why we really uh, need a lot of it. Yes, because right. Because hemp fibers is really important in this mod. So that's why we're like really want to get some hemp. Okay, so now uh, we're going to have a look at, uh, first of all, I'm going to show you the hemp farm again. Uh, basically, hemp is best grown like this in these rows. Um, you can't grow it like the wheat where you have it a kind of like a, a square of, of water and then kind of around. You have to have it like this to grow like in the best way. Um, it's going to take a while to grow to that stage like last time, um, but if you have a lot of hemp, then, you know, it keeps growing. You know, one will grow every like five seconds, so it's pretty cool. And literally, like... When we were doing a practice, uh, a little bit of practice to see, you know, what's going on, uh, like I was keep, I kept uh, farming this hemp, and every time I turned around, another one grew. It was, can get a bit annoying, but I guess that is good signs that we're doing well. Mm. So yeah, that's cool. Um, now you can see how much uh, tall grass we had to get out to get all this uh, hemp stuff. We still haven't got a single wheat seed yet. No, that's annoying. Why? I don't understand that, to be quite honest. We get so much hemp. I would really like some wheat. So, should we just go for wheat now, or...? Because I really... I think we really need to get some to mill. Because when we're on, you know, when the modes get higher, you know, we really need as much food as possible. Because at the moment, we don't lose any food bars at the moment, which is good, because we're running around back and forth so much. But when, you know, when we're doing this running, you know, the food bars go so... They drastically go down, so we need a lot of food. That's right, and in Best of the Wolves, uh, bread heals pretty much exactly the same amount that uh, any other any other type of food does. Pork only refuels, or any type of meat only refuels like two bars. Um, you can make like pork dinners and stuff though using potatoes, which is quite cool. Yeah, um, there's so many more foods now, isn't there? Mm. Um, I mean, it's like yeah, it's, as you said, pork di bit dinners. You can do breakfasts, can't you? Now you can make eggs. It's really f actually quite funny how that works out, but you know, that's quite cool. I think that's awesome. I'm gonna keep mining for a bit. Uh, let's have a look. Whoa, this is a bit confusing. This likes like a half ravine, a half failed ravine here, with a little bit of lava. So I like to use my iron pickaxe only when I need to. So like when I come across like redstone or gold or something, or hopefully even diamonds, and I can use it. Ooh, now also we might want to make a light block. Uh, when we go to the Nether, we need to get a lot of glowstone to make a filament, which is made out of glowstone dust, redstone dust, and hemp fibers. Okay, so I've been mining for a little bit here. Haven't been too lucky. Haven't found anything cool. Um, ooh, a little bit of uh, iron there. And Joe's telling me that we should make some light blocks, but we can't yet. No, well, we want to get to the nether quite soon, don't we? Yeah, we do. We want to get a diamond pickaxe. We need to find yeah, diamonds. Well, 
<clears throat> need to find some diamonds. So while you're mining there, try and find some diamonds so we can mine up that obsidian. Because you need to get glowstone for... Um, I think I might have already said this, I'm not sure, because we cut the video just then. But um, if you didn't hear what I was saying, well, I might as well say it again. You need glowstone dust, redstone, and I think the other one is hemp fibre. Or string, I think you can use. Yeah, but we might as well use hemp fibre because we've got so much of it. And is it raining? It's raining, so I might as well go in the mine because it's lagging out my player. Oh, right, yeah. I might toggle the downfall then. Okay, let's do that. Let me do some mining. We're both going to go mining today. A little mining spree again. Ooh, a little bit of lag there. Now, well, what's this? This looks quite strange. Haven't found any like ravines or abandoned mines yet, or dungeons even. Well, there's there's ravine down here, I swear. In our practice run, we came across a ravine. Yeah, that was cool. Mm. But I maybe were mining in a completely different place. I think we might have been like we made the tunnel down a different direction, so we didn't oh, come. It's annoying. But you know, it doesn't matter. But I swear we should go down here. Have you gone down here yet, Tommy? This little, this drop here. Um. Oh, I found something here though, which is cool. This looks quite strange. But it isn't actually that amazing because there's nothing here. Yeah, there you go. I can see you there. Oh, there you are. Where are you? Uh. Stop. Oh right. Okay, I just saw you. I think I just saw you. It might be the bat. We really need to find some diamonds. I really want to go to the nether to get some glowstone. We really need to do that. Yeah. Definitely need to get some uh, glowstone. It's used quite a lot in this game. Uh, as well as many other things. So, yeah. This is going to take a while to find some diamonds. If I find anything cool, gold or diamonds, I'll come back and start recording again. Okay, so I found some gold, which I suppose is pretty good. Have you? Oh, cool. That's awesome. Which we... Oh, my God, there's a lot of gold here. It's about eight gold. <coughs> well, uh, probably bring that up then. Bring that up just before you die or something, because I can see that happening. There's quite a lot of lava around here. There's lava. Well, around where I am, anyway. I'm gonna go up to the top and see what's going on. See if any mobs have spawned yet. Okay. It shouldn't have because we haven't made any rope yet. And I suppose we don't even need rope for a while. I mean, we could make the cauldron. We wouldn't have to make the rope. Yeah, but we need bones. We need mobs for that. Oh, that is true. So I suppose it forces you into it. Yeah, what about we just make some rope now? Don't make rope yet. Let's make rope between episodes. Okay. Because I want to go recording, or make rope in the third episode or something. Oh, whatever. Because I want to m go mining for a very long time between episodes. Okay. Well, what are you doing now, Tommy? I'm still mining. I'm going through this cave. It's very long. It's been kind of diagonal for a very long time. But I'm getting lots of coal, which is good. And you are hemp farming, I can see there. Yep. Ugh, just checking on my hemp. Let's see if there's any more, actually. I haven't checked it out. Ooh. Uh, nothing's really grown yet. It's actually nearly full. It's kind of growing, as you can see. Toy. I can see across your screen. Oops. Still no wheat, though. That's a bit annoying. I'm getting a good amount of iron now. I've got about 15 iron. I think iron may be like more abundant in this since you know you have to have so much of it. Problem is I still don't know really what level I'm at. I think I'm at diamond level because I can see redstone around. I'm pretty sure that diamond level is the same as redstone level, but I might be wrong. Nearly got a full stack of redstone, Tommy. Yeah, no, we're gonna need a lot of redstone. Yeah. It's good that it gives you so much when you mine it. That's like 30 redstone I just mined there. Really cool. Okay, big, very big lava lake. That's awesome. Uh, okay. 
Awesome. I've got four iron. I'm just bringing it up. Just smelting it now. Cool. Okay, I think I'm just still looking for some diamonds. I haven't seen any yet, which is a little bit unlucky. Uh, but I'm still going to just keep going across here. See if I can find any. Maybe there's some up there. I didn't see that before. Oh no, there's just some iron. Fair enough, that's fine. Oh no, we just need as much iron as possible to make the cauldron. Mm -hmm. You need a lot of iron. Uh, I think it's like, what is it? Six, like pretty much a whole stack of iron to make the cauldron. Stack of iron, a whole stack of iron. No, it's a thing, yes, it's seven iron. Yeah, which is six. A bone and um, a bucket of water. Oh, a bucket as well, so that's ten iron, which is ninety iron. We've ore. already got the bucket, we just need to fill up with water and then we go. Okay, and the bone, which we need from a skeleton. How much iron have you got, Tommy? I've got 26 iron ore. Oh god, yeah, that's good. Iron ore, that is. I know, but still, that's un that's good. We already have quite a lot of iron in one of the chests, though. Well, yeah, well, in here we've got four iron ingots and seven iron nuggets, so two away from making another iron ingot. So that's pretty cool. We need seven iron, obviously, to make... seven iron ingots to make the cauldron. So, you know, the cauldron's really helpful, as in our test run we saw, you know, you just put some fire underneath it and you don't even have to use coal. It's pretty cool, actually. No fuel is needed to cook things. Nope. Nothing at all. Just fire. Fire. Okay. Looks like I've cleared out this cave except for here, where there's a massive lava pit, which I almost ran into. No diamonds yet. Oh. But I think we might be getting close. I feel like there's some diamonds around here. Hopefully. Maybe. Perhaps. Maybe not. Okay, let's keep going through this cave. And we can test how our keep to the left hand side of the wall works. Lots of redstone, but no diamonds. No bananas. No bananas. As I keep saying though, we need so much redstone, we might as well get it. Just get as much redstone as possible. Get just every single one. And, and coal, I'm running, I haven't got, I don't think we have any more coal. We've got one coal left, Tommy. We actually? <laughs> yeah. Well, I've got the coal here, I've got one. And let me just check. I don't know. I know there might be a sign in the chest. No. Okay, let me one. let me just end the video quickly because I can hear someone trying to call me on Skype. I'll be back. Okay, guys. I am now trying to find my way out using the system that we used. Let me try and find you down there. Wait a minute. Let me try and find. I'll like kind of like jump up and down, so I, you can see me. There we go. I found my way out. Hi. Yeah. Let me greet you. Okay, so now that we're out of this horrible place, we are now going to go back upstairs, check on the hemp farm, and then we will go on from there. Nothing's grown yet. Might something might have grown when I've been down here, but let me meet you um by the staircase. Hello. Hello. Let's go back upstairs. Let's go and see the hemp farm, and then smelt all your iron as well, because we need that. I've got eight gold and thirty-six iron. Wow, that's good. Definitely on our way to make the cauldron. Oh yeah. Only now is to spawn the mobs. But let's not do that until next episode, because I want to go on a big mining thing. Okay. Right, we're back up here. We're going to smelt all of this iron up in this lovely little furnace here. Okay, so let's stick some coal into there. Stick some coal into there. Stick some coal into there. And stick some coal into there. Nice. And we've got a good amount of coal stored up. Um, there we go. All that beautiful coal. More redstone. And also some gold. 
which I need to put in the gold furnace. Over here. Awesome. So this hemp has been really poor. Nothing's grown. Mm. Oh my god, I just saw... Wait a minute, what's that? They keep flashing the mobs. Yeah, I, I keep seeing that as well. A bit weird. Whatever. Maybe it's a sign that they're coming. I don't think so. I think it's just vanilla Minecraft being weird. I think it's because, like, in in the configs for the server, it's like on in normal mode, but the mod is kept keep saying it's peaceful, so it kind of like for a tick it like comes in something like that maybe. Let's find. I need to find some wheat. Come on, let's go. We have to find some wheat. We're going on a wheat hunt in the middle of the night. I found some hemp again. I just want some wheat. If we find some wheat, that'd be awesome. We found one piece of wheat last time. Yeah, I know. Just one. Found some more hemp. I was coming to a jungle here. Lots of ca uh, lots of cows, which we can have a farm with, but we need some wheat to bring them back. Uh, there's also something over there. Looks like a sheep climbing the tree, uh, which is interesting. There's also some ocelots down there, which we could tame probably. Um, and there's a ravine here. There is a ravine. Here. Now it's a massive ravine, so don't fall into it. Oh my lord, that is massive. Good gracious. So there's probably some nice ores down there. Whoa, that's actually really big. So we'll explore that. But for now, I can see some cocoa beans, and I'm going to go get them now. There's a dead chicken over here, and I wonder... maybe You can that... see some like, cheeky iron. I think a chicken was just eaten there, which is a little bit unfortunate. Big ravine. So, lots of stuff over here. Let's get... Uh... Let's get some of this stuff, because I know that we're going to... Is the entrance to a cave here, Tommy? Where? Here. Next to the ravine. Is it? Yeah, let's go. This might be a little more, um, uh, oh, wait, wrong side. You, you, you do that while I get all of these cocoa beans, because I want to grow some cocoa beans. <sighs> so, yeah. while Joe is getting all of that stuff, I'm going to cut down this junglewood tree, because what? you can only grow, uh, yeah. cocoa beans on coco uh, on junglewood trees. And Joe is in a cave. Is that right, Joe? Yeah, that's right. It's not a very big cave, but whatever. Okay, so I'm going to have a look around for some sugarcane as well, because it's pretty nice to have some sugarcane. Sugarcane normally grows on the coast. So I'm going to have a look around, make sure I don't get lost as well. That wouldn't be good. No, nothing here, Tommy, unfortunately. There's only a bit of coal, and that's it. Oh, never mind. Doesn't matter. There's a jungle over here as well. Yeah, I, I know I'm exploring the jungle now. Are you? Or should I stay at our base, or should I come with you? Uh, no, stay at the base. I'm just going to get some sugarcane. Okay. There's a cow as well. Ooh, a little bit of a missing chunk of there. Struggling to find the thing. There's a little bit of a quarryish area there. Now these vines are really slow to run through, which is quite annoying. Ooh, now there's some squids, which we should probably kill because we need them for lots of stuff. We need ink for recipe books, first of all. Which are very useful. And I can't see anything because it's so dark. Still don't find a single piece of sugarcane though, which is a little bit annoying. Mm. That seems hard to find as well. Oh, I'm going to look around for some sugarcane and I'll be back. And here we go, we found some sugarcane. Look, hey. look at this. Beautiful. Um, Another interesting fact I found about Minecraft is that in the in the wild, sugarcane can grow four tall, but in like when you're just growing it yourself, it doesn't grow four tall. I it was quite oh, that's annoying. So get all this lovely sugarcane. It's a good amount of it as well. I got fourteen sugarcane. Nice. And uh, now I'm gonna have to find my way back. So I'll come back once I have found my way back. Okay, so, uh, Joe, do you want to set up a little sugarcane farm? 
Okay, let's go. You set up that sugarcane farm, I'll set up the jungle farm. Okay, I need a bucket, please, as well. Is there a bucket in there? Yeah, there's a bucket somewhere. Cool. Set that away from the hemp farm. I will. And then I'll put a jungle farm here for a, a cocoa bean farm. I won't put it too far away from it. No, don't put it too far. There we go, that looks about right. And now you just need to plot. No, that's not right. Sugarcane farm doesn't need to be that big, does it? What doesn't need to be that big? A sugarcane farm. Uh, it needs Which? to be pretty big, you're gonna need quite a lot of sugar. So how should I do it? How should I do it? Like. Basically, do it. I'll show you a little design that you could do. Come, go here. Well, which should I do it in the wheat design or the hemp design? Don't do it in either of those. There's a new design for sh for, uh, for sugarcane. Um, okay. Now you have to do it like this. You do one there. We probably do one of these. I'm here. I'm here, Tommy. It's here. No, 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 no. Get rid of that. That's not how you do it. Come back over. So the way you do a sugar farm is a little bit different. Now you should be able to now put uh, water in all of those. Now sugar cane has to be next to a, a water source. So this is the best design because you can put them all in the middle there, all along here, all along there. So it's this is the best design. So that's the water pattern for hemp. Oh, you can just see that something got to the first stage of growth there. So that that now now start actually growing some proper hemp. Yeah. So, looks like the cocoa farms actually working pretty well as well already. So just plant them over, all the way around. Just hold down right click and just see what you can do. Whoops. How can you plant it there? I don't think you can plant it there. Pass, pass the some of the one piece of sugar cane, Joe. Where are you? Right behind you. Oh. <laughs> so does it work diagonals now? I didn't know that. So the diagonals work. I don't think that was in the last Minecraft. Okay, that's quite cool. I didn't know that. Have you got any more sugar cane to plant, Joe? Yeah, I've got five. Keep planting them. run out. There we go. Oh look! Look what we got! Yeah! Another piece of hemp. Oh yeah, let's go... Did you get, uh, did you get seeds? No, I didn't get any seeds. The most reliable base to get seeds is to, um, you know, get, get the tall grass. There we are. Lit up. Nice, hemp fibres, more hemp fibres. Oh, I actually have got some hemp seeds in here, I didn't even realise. Cool, let's go and plant them. Give me some, I'll plant them. You can. Okay, there you go. Joe? And then I'll sort out, look how quickly that grew there, that was ridiculous. Okay. This cocoa farm is, ri is absolutely ridiculous. So we go, we'll just leave that there, we'll have a good amount of cocoa in no time, so we can make some cookies and biscuits and things like that. Okay. But that's only if we find wheat. So okay. wheat is wheat is what we need right now. Okay, well let's just just let's just find wheat now. Yeah, let's uh find wheat and uh Okay, let's just keep going. Keep going. Okay, so I think we're coming up to the end of this episode here. Thank you all for watching. Yes! Wait a minute, wait a minute. Sorry, that was a bit bad there, but I found some wheat just now. Wheat or seeds? Wheat seeds? Wheat oh seeds, Oh my sorry. god. Yes. Where was the holy place that you found the... Uh, right here, I think. On yeah. that ground there. Holy ground. Oh my wheat. god. Oh. Lovely. So we can actually make a wheat farm quickly at the okay, end of the episode. Oh my god. This is amazing. This is awesome. So, not the end of the episode until we do this. Lots of flowers around, so let's get rid of all these. Okay, so let's plant down the farm here. Nice. This, this looks like a good place, so... 
put some water in there. Yeah, let me get some water. And I'll get the hoe out. I'm also going to mark out this farm. I thought I've got a hoe, Tommy. Okay, I'm just going to mark out this farm here. Uh, no, I won't. First one. Three, two, one. There we are. Yeah. It's seven by seven, isn't it? Another hemp seed you just made that time. Yeah, go and plant that, and I found another one as well. So look how easy it is to get hemp. I remember back in the old days of Battle of the Walls, it was so difficult to get hemp. You had to like hoe the ground to get hemp, and you you would stand there for so long just hoeing the ground, and the whole earth would just look so horrible. So let me just mark out this farm then with some torches. I don't know why I was just like doing that. It's quite fun. Nice. We got wheat finally. We got wheat. That's so cool. One wow. piece of wheat. Yeah. So, thank you for watching, as I said, and next time we will make the cauldron. Hopefully we'll have a lot more resources because I would have, um, you know, gone mining for ages because Joe's got to go now and get something. But, um, next episode, first of all, the cauldron, and yep. second of all, uh, hopefully nether expedition, I think. Yeah, so cauldron time. I've been waiting for this for ages. Okay, so see you guys and goodbye.